Hello everyone. So, in the last video, I showed you guys how to create a template for the CX mobile app. In today's video, I got Ted with me, and Hello. I'm going to show you how to stack using the CX mobile app and import your template using the CX mobile app. So, on the left hand side here, uh, we actually have three 6300s. So, we have a 6300M on the top and two 6300Fs, and we're going to stack them all together using the mobile app. So, to get started, you're going to have to connect to them via Bluetooth 10. Okay. So I'm connected here. And yep. And you can select any of the devices. Select one. Yeah, and they have the serial name under the devices, so you can actually check on the asset tags if you want a specific device to be the master. It's going to be the one that you select. Alright, I'm connected. Cool. So go to the mobile app. And since this is a brand new switch, it's going to prompt you for a new password. So you're just going to put in a new password to log in. Nope, password zone match, yeah. Hey, this is <laughs> live. Happens to the best of us. This is live. <laughs> I love it. Don't let it make you nervous. <laughs> you're on camera, you're on TV. Alright, so now that you're connected to the device, you're going to click Initial Configuration. Alright. Click Stack. And now, what the sta uh, this is going to do is it's actually going to discover the devices via Bluetooth and LVP neighbors, so it's going to marry the, the MAC address between the two to actually discover the devices that are connected to the switch. So it's going to go through and figure out what devices are connected to what. And there we go, you have your stack. Yep. So now you can click configure device. Uh, members? Oh, members, yeah. That's Sorry, right. not device. Yeah. And what this is going to do is it's going to push the VSF configuration to the devices, and those devices are going to boot up, and then we're going to have a stack here in a few minutes. So you should hear those fans going in a few seconds. There you go. It's the booting. And we're going to step out for a couple of minutes and let these guys reboot. It shouldn't be longer than two minutes. So I'm just going to speed this part of the video up. Okay, so the stack seems to be all good to go. So now we're going to push that configuration template. So go ahead and click Configure Stack. All right. And then if you wanted to add it to NetEdit, you could, but we're not going to add these switches to NetEdit right now. Uh, again, like in the video, I said you actually have to have that management IP variable and the admin password variable in your template in order to do this anyway. So we're just going to skip it. All right. And here you have the basic connectivity. Uh, template that we created in the video before this, I do want to show people how you can get this template into the app. So go ahead and click the drop down menu, right. click import custom template, Got it. browse, yep. and this will take you to the file system locally on the device and mine happens to be in Slack. So if you go ahead and click Slack, uh, you'll actually see the base connectivity template and what you do is you just click that and it would import. Um, but in this case we don't need to do that because I already have that template imported. So we're just going to go ahead and hit cancel. Brings you back to the app. Click that basic connectivity. Got it. And then you have the hostname variable, which is just a string, like I said in the video. So it's any string you put in there. Then we have the uplink interface like we had in the video. And that constrains you to only allow uh, you to put an interface in. So I can only put the 1 slash 1 slash 27. I won't be able to put any other information in. And the same thing with the management IP variable as well. So you can just click next. Got it. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to validate the template. So it's pushing the template to the devices so they can actually verify that the configuration is good and they can run on these switches. So once it does that, it's going to tell you, hey, I'm good to go. I'm working on deploy the stack. And there you go. So now you can just click deploy. Okay. And this is going to push that configuration to the stack. There you go. You're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much to do. I like so. it. I like it. Alright, click done. We're good to go. Thank you. Yeah. 
thank you guys for watching the video.